Hello folks, welcome to our channel, Channel Jose. Today we're going to show you, give you an idea how to replace the prime button of the carburetor on a weed eater and this applies for the Poland Pro. P, the part number is PP033 and this is a 33cc gas uh, trimmer. So we are going to change the prime button on this is when you want to start out trimmer or the weed eater and you pull and pull and pull and there's that you gotta charge the carburetor so when you pull it, it starts easier otherwise you'll be there pulling a long time sometimes those these uh, little uh, buttons we're gonna give you a close look up on how the equipment looks and what we're using so these buttons they dry up and they crack and they don't do their job anymore so this is like a little bubble that you press and it sucks fuel from the tank and it pushes it into the carburetor so it's ready to roll so with that we're going to be using a torx or a t25 and this is like an allen wrench but this is a torx and we're going to be using our quarter inch drive and with that we're going to give you a close look and see to show you what the procedure is and how the components look and with that said let's get started so this is the prime button for the fuel so when you press this bubble what it is is that there's an entrance and there's an exit point for a fuel so there's like a check here so it sucks fuel as we press it spits the fuel one way and as we release the fuel comes in and the other one so one is in suction and the other one is uh, pressure so sometimes these dry up most of the time these dry out and they crack and they don't create pressure or they don't create vacuum so these pretty much are the one of the first things to go we're going to show you where this component is located on the trimmer and how to replace it so this is how the uh, poland pro weed eater or trimmer looks like from where the pull start is so we have the fuel tank right here this is where we add the fuel mixture with oil and this is the start and run uh, uh, button and this is right here this is the pull start we have the button right here and this is button is a prime button but this as you can see is all yellow and is broken so that we have a new one right here that we're gonna put on and as you can see the even the color has dried up on this one and this is brand new to replace it with a new one what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to move, remove this screw right here this screw right here and we'll turn around the weed eater to show you that there's two more screws to take off to remove this cover there's this other screw here and then this other side there's another screw that we have to take off when we take the back ones as well so there's four in total t25s we'll take them all four off so we can remove this cover so we can work on the prime button So now that we have taken all four screws T25s, what we do is we just lift this yellow plastic cover, remove it, and we're going to expose right back here. We're exposing the top shelf or the head of the weed eater. That's a heat shield at the same time, but this is where we need to get into. This is where is the shaft is going to the weed eater or the trimmer head, and then this is the cylinder head, and then this is the carburetor and we're actually giving a, a way we're giving you a look from a little bit far away so you can know where this component is the component is right here and it's facing like this right now and what we're going to be doing is we're going to remove that one to put this one on so there's two hoses connected to it and it has some clips that they snap into the plastic and that's all it holds it into in place but we need to get the that's why we need to remove the shield so we can unplug and plug the hoses from this side and push this guy through on the old one we want to show you that we're pressing the button the prime button and there's no liquid going through these little hoses so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to disconnect the hoses so we can start pushing the the button out so if you can grab a little some needle nose pliers and pull those hoses off careful don't damage them and you, once you pull them off now you got the button right there this leg and this other leg are the ones connect, keeping it in, in place 
so that's the button the prime button and the only thing that holds it is this clip and this clip that we have to bring together so it goes through now that we don't have the hoses connected so we just gotta push it through and come out of the other side because of those two clips so this is the old one and this is the one clip the other clip and then this this guide goes right where there's a gap there's no plastic the new one looks the same clips and then this guide that goes right in the bottom where there's no plastic so here we have the used one and look the old one is just cracked in bad shape and the new one which is this one so that's why we're replacing it because it, the old one is just brittle dry broken doesn't do its job anymore and look it's, it's open fuel wouldn't even get sucked in or pushed into the carburetor so we're replacing it with a new one so now what we do is we start with the lower little hose and we grab it and plug it in to the new button then we grab the upper hose and we plug it in you just gotta be careful these little hoses don't crimp in too much so once you get them in now we can put the plastic cover back on because we got no new button in so, so now look at the difference now we got our new prime button so we're gonna start pressing it so you can see that the fuel is gonna start flowing So now that we have put our hoses, there's no leaks, we prime it, and then we know that it's good to go, we can put our shield or plastic cover on, because that's what keeps the heat from burning us when we're working with these machines. Well, folks, this was an idea on how to replace the prime button on a Pro Poland Pro in the part number of the weed eater is a PP033, and this is a 33cc. The prime button cost us about four or five dollars on Amazon. We're gonna leave the link below here, so if you're interested in buying it, uh, it was pretty simple. All you need is a T25 Torx uh, socket and uh, a flathead screwdriver, some needle nose pliers so you can maneuver the hoses and it's pretty simple replacement and anything that is plastic on these components hoses or anything that has to do with the fuel lines it can be replaced so you don't have to throw the whole machine away just because a simple button that it went bad so in for other components that uses fuel and they have the same buttons it can be replaced as well because these machines are not cheap so hopefully this video was informative and give you an idea how to repair your next uh, project. And uh, for those folks who are watching our video and haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. If you like our video, give us thumbs up, share it, and we'll see you soon with more videos here in El Canal, El Chano Jose.